want to say that the uh, senator from Georgia is also very. If this technology goes wrong, it can go quite wrong. Uh, and we want to be vocal about that. We want to work with the government to prevent that from happening. Time to do it again. Okay. Terminator and all those movies have really given us a good fear of a artificial intelligence and I, I think uh, I think we got a long ways to go before we get there and I I think that there's a lot of just a lot of unknowns I, I just not... on top of that for the last 50 years I've been trying to make models on computers that can learn in order to understand how the brain learns and I'd always assumed that the brain was better than the computer models we had. And I'd always assumed that by making the computer models more like the brain, we would improve them. And my epiphany was, a couple of months ago, um, I suddenly realised that maybe the computer models we have now are actually better than the brain. And if that's the case, then maybe quite soon they'll be better than us. So that the idea of superintelligence, instead of being something in the distant future, might come much sooner than I expected. If you want to go to Europe, you create the sub-goal of get to the airport, and then you solve that sub-goal. And for any complicated goal, you want to create sub-goals. And it turns out, here's a very good sub-goal for almost anything you want to do. Um, get more control. If you get more control, it makes it easier to achieve other things. So once these things are able to create sub-goals, them being very smart, I think they will quickly realise that if they got more control, they could realise their goals much more easily. And once they want to get control, things start looking bad for people. So if you're a skilled manipulator, and these things will be extremely skilled manipulators because they'll have learned from all the manipulations people ever did, so they'll be much better than a person at manipulating us. They'll be able to manipulate us into doing whatever they want. It'll be like you manipulating a two-year-old. So they don't need to pull levers or press buttons. The idea of air gapping them and everything will be okay isn't going to work. This committee, full committee, Senate Judiciary Committee. It's, it's one of my areas of greatest concern. The, 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 the more general ability of these models to manipulate, to persuade, uh, to provide sort of one-on-one, -on -one, uh, you know, interactive disinformation. I think that's like a broader version of what you're talking about, but given that we're going to face an election next year and these models are getting better, uh, I think this is a significant area of concern. Like with climate change, you can say, just stop burning carbon and everything will be okay. It's not very palatable politically to some people, but at least you can see the sort of outline of a solution. You know, if we could just get really efficient solar energy then we could stop burning carbon and everything will be okay. I can't see a similar solution here. I can't see, you know, just do this and everything will be okay. But for the existential threat, the idea it might wipe us all out, that's like nuclear weapons because nuclear weapons had the possibility they would just wipe out everybody. And that's why people could cooperate on preventing that. And for the existential threat, I think maybe the US and China and Europe and Japan can all cooperate on trying to avoid that existential threat. But the question is, how should they do that? And I think stopping development isn't feasible.